What up, peeps? Welcome back to What Sold on eBay. So this is the first clip that I'm filming for this video. I film every day for about a week, and we have a lot of stuff to get through. These are my sales just from Monday night after I left the store, which I guess would technically be Tuesday because I stayed past midnight. So from Tuesday until Thursday evening, these are the sales so far for the week. So first up, we have FIFA 21. This is one of the uh, factory sealed games we got from the GameStop buyout. Someone did the math in the last video and I paid $3 for these and sold it for $13.95 with free shipping. It's going to cost about $3.50 or so to ship. So we're down to about 10 and then fees on top of that. We're looking at like eight or nine bucks, but three bucks into eight or nine, not too bad. The second item has been listed for quite some time, and this is an Xbox 360 component HD AV cable. This is the official Microsoft brand cable, and as you can tell, it is brand new, factory sealed, so more of a collector's item than anything. This one, I believe I had originally listed for $29.99, but I had best offer on it, and ended up going back and forth and settled on $22 with free shipping. It should cost no more than eight bucks to ship in a padded flat ring envelope, and it's pretty sturdy. It's like really thick, you know, plastic. So um, it's not super fragile, and uh, that's always nice. So moving on, we have a remote. This is a Pioneer receiver remote. There's the model number in case you want to look it up. This is one I found that did not have a battery cover, and usually that hurts the value, but on a remote like this, people just need it regardless. So this one ended up selling for $19.99 which I'm very happy with. I can't remember if I got this at a regular Goodwill or at the outlet, but I do know it was kind of recent. So I probably showed it in one of the vlogs, one of the thrifting videos. Um, if it was at the outlet, it costs like a nickel. If it was at a regular Goodwill, it would have been no more than three bucks because I've, they don't really price remotes higher than that. So either way, whatever the price was into $20, very, very happy. Next up, I have my little cheat sheet here with all the prices so I can remember. Next up is a little deck of Pokemon cards. So this is the Rayquaza Battle Arena deck. Um, it originally came in a two pack from what I could tell. Um, all the cards are in there and this one sold for $19.99. Um, sold to someone who buys from us a lot. They buy a lot of video games off our website and they've been buying some stuff off of eBay as well. Um, so thank you, Wayne, for your purchase. Um, this one, I think he said he was getting these for his nephew who is really into Pokemon cards. So super awesome. This one I have had for a long time. I, I, I had to have found this at the outlet because I would not have purchased it from a regular Goodwill. So by weight, it probably costs mm, maybe like 80, 90 cents. Next up, we have a DVD, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 4 DVD. This is factory sealed. This was a pretty cheap one. This sold for $6.49 with free shipping. It's going to cost me $2.80 to ship it media mail in a bubble mailer. Um, so we're not making too much, but still, I think it's worth it just because of how cheap we got it. Came in a big lot with a bunch of other stuff. Next up, we have probably the coolest thing I have to show you guys in this one, which is this Mr. Bigglesworth plush. This is uh, from Austin Powers. He's got his original tag for the collar and then the original tag up here. And if you squeeze him, I don't know if you can hear it, it's kind of quiet, but he talks and everything. Uh, this guy sold for $23.99 with free shipping. And this is going to be, you know, just a couple bucks to ship. It's pretty light. But I've actually sold one of these before. It was a long time ago, years and years and years ago. And I think the price has come down. Because if I remember last time, I sold one for like 45 to 60 somewhere in there. I remember it was not cheap. And that was like way back when I lived in California. So that would have been 2014. <laughs> Late 2014, maybe early 2015, I sold the last one. So cool to find another one. This definitely came from the outlet. I found this just last week. So didn't cost much at all this was probably cheaper than the pokemon cards it weighs less than those i think next up we have another remote this is a sony cd remote not the same model number as the one i sold i think in the last video or maybe the video before uh but still nice little remote here this one sold for 15.49 with free shipping once again it's only going to cost about 350 to ship and this one 
just like the other remote. I can't remember if it was from the outlet or from a regular Goodwill, but it would have been the same price as about a nickel from the outlet and about anywhere from 99 cents to 2.99 from a regular Goodwill. Next, we have these Denon Sport um, High Position Type 2 blank cassette tapes. This is a little sealed pack, as you can see. And I originally had these listed for, I think, $24.99 or... Actually, I don't think I even had a best offer on there, but eBay gives you the option to send an offer to you, to the people that are watching an item. So I did that, uh, went back and forth, ended up accepting $16 with free shipping on these guys. They definitely came from the outlet. I don't buy these from the regular Goodwills ever, unless it's like a really big pack, then it's worth it. But usually just a two pack or something probably would not be worth it. I wouldn't even look these up at a regular Goodwill, but at the outlet, definitely. Most blank cassette tapes, just like a one or a two pack, are not that expensive. These ones, just this, the specific type that they are, maybe even the brand makes them a little bit more expensive. There are some that are like CD quality, which can be pretty expensive. There's ones that have a bunch of like metal components, which can be expensive. To me, these ones don't look like anything special, but they sold for 16 bucks. So I'm happy either way. <laughs> Next up, another remote. This is a Sharp Audio Cassette remote. There's the model number. Um, this one does have the battery cover. This one most likely came from the outlet as well, but it's even lighter than the other ones. It's much smaller, as you can tell. So this one would have been like maybe two or three cents. It really weighs nothing. And then, you know, same thing between 99 cents and three bucks at a regular Goodwill. This one sold for $19.99 as well with free shipping, of course. And once again, that's like $3.50 or so to ship it out. Three more items. First up, we have a PlayStation Game Shark. And this one is missing the sticker that goes on here, which it's not a big deal, but you know, it makes it kind of ugly. Uh, this one sold for $23.99. This is an item that I've had for a very, very long time. I, I have no idea where it came from. It either came from the Goodwill outlet. Someone could have traded it in. Um, I have these tubs here with a bunch of items in them. The bottom one is all video game stuff that I've been like saving for Amazon basically, but this is one of the items that was in there. Anytime we get any sort of Game Shark stuff, unless it's like a complete set, I just throw them in that box because a lot of them need a disc or a memory card or something, and it's hard to kind of pair things together and make a full set, so I just list them individually like this one, like I did here on eBay, and it sold for 24 bucks, so I'm happy with that. Then we have this little Soundcore charging case. This is for, I believe... I can't remember if they were just like wireless headphones or if they were like for like earbud, like a, not earbuds, um, hearing aids. Um, I can't remember, but either way, it was just this. I didn't have any cables. I didn't have the actual earbud things to go with it, but this sold for $19.99 and this definitely came from the outlet. I only found this a few weeks ago, so I'm happy that this, that this sold quickly because this is the type of item that obviously I've never had one. I've never sold one, so it's hard for me to know how quickly it's going to sell and this is definitely the type of item that I could see never selling, but I'm really glad that it did because I don't want this sticking around forever. Last item, the second cheapest thing from this video is a Skylander. This is Ghost Roaster. This is the one Skylander that's a little bit more expensive that I actually recognize. Um, I've sold this guy many, many times. He's not that expensive, but he's more than a standard Skylander. We sell most of them for two bucks here in the store. This guy sold for $9.49 with free shipping, of course. Everything has free shipping that I sell. He's going to cost about three bucks, three fifty to ship. So, not too bad. And uh, he most likely got traded in in a big bundle of Skylanders. No one ever trades in one Skylander. It's always, you know, it's always 10 plus in a lot. So that is everything from the first first day of recording. But this is, like I said, Tuesday through Thursday. And then we'll have some more sales for you here in just a sec. So I have not filmed anything for two days because I did not make a sale for two consecutive days. Seems like a lot. <laughs> but now it is Sunday. And I have four sales just from this morning to go through. So we're back on track. First is the complete first season of Suburgatory on DVD. It's factory sealed, but it does have a rip right here. I mean, it's not really that bad. I'm assuming whoever buys a DVD is probably going to open it, so they probably don't care anyway. This sold for $13.99 with free shipping. 
Um, as with most of the DVDs, this came from that big lot that got traded in. I don't know what the cost was um, per per DVD. A lot of them ended up being sold in the store or put into the system to be sold in the store, and then some of them went on eBay. Uh, but 14 bucks, not too bad. It's going to be 2.89 to ship that. Next up. We have this Mario & Luigi Paper Jam uh, pre-order bonus for the game. This is a pack of basically cardstock puzzle kind of things. Like, you put them together, you make the four different characters that it shows on there. Um, I actually have some at home because when I got this game, or when I got this little pre-order bonus thing... Um, I put them together, so I have them displayed in my game room. This one sold for $69.99, which is crazy because the game is... I don't even think the game is worth half that. Um, but yeah, we have one more of these. Um, pretty cool. This one... I think this this came in like with a big trade-in. Um, I think it was someone who, who traded in like two giant boxes of random stuff, and these were in there. So either way, pretty cool. That's one of the more expensive sales. Next up, we have a CD. We have Snoop Dogg's Greatest Hits. Uh, Death Row's Snoop Doggy Dog Greatest Hits, if you want to say that. Um, this is the, the first pressing of this that I can, that I can tell. Um, I don't even know if they, if they did more than one. It's a Greatest Hits album, so they're usually, you know, they're not too special. But this one sold for $15.99 with free shipping. This came from the outlet. I got this not that long ago. I definitely paid a dollar. It's either a dollar twenty-nine or a dollar thirty-nine. I can never remember. I think it's a dollar thirty-nine. But either way, that into sixteen bucks is not too bad at all. This will also only cost two eighty-nine to ship, and this this thing should only be like maybe three three fifty to ship. And then the last item for this section of the video, we have an external hard drive. I found this at the outlet as well. This is a Seagate. Um, two terabyte. It says it's a photo drive, but you can really use it for anything. I reformatted this on the PC here at the store, so this is just whatever the standard format is, like FAT32 or whatever. Um, this one sold for $39.99, and a lot of people use this for Xbox One as an external hard drive. So um, a lot of the ones that were the same, the same model, the same brand. Um, they all said like Xbox in the title, so I kind of branded it as that as well. But yeah, pretty nice little sale. This thing came from the outlet. It costs no more than a, than a you know than like seventy cents for sure because it's sixty nine cents per pound for electronics. So this thing does not even weigh a pound. So that was probably thirty to forty cents right there. So turning that into forty dollars, I am super happy with that. This is going to be the last clip for this video, guys. It is Monday. I have two final sales to show you that we have here on eBay. So the first one is this Game Boy Advance uh, rechargeable battery pack with AC adapter. This is for the original Game Boy Advance. Um, so the SP, as you guys know, has a built-in you know, re rechargeable battery and comes with a charger originally. The Game Boy Advance runs on two AA's. So this was released by Nintendo. This is an official Nintendo brand product. And this kind of like, you know, solves that problem. The only thing is that these rechargeable batteries that are in here are kind of getting old, so they don't tend to hold great charges. Um, so this one was tested, and it at least powers the console on, but, you know, and I put it in the description, I'm pretty sure, there's no way to guarantee how long it's going to hold a charge. But this sold for $29.99, which is really, really awesome. I find these... Uh, power cables every now and then, but the actual little battery thing here, don't find those too often. I've sold a few of these on eBay for around like 12 to 15, I think, but 30 bucks for the little set here is pretty good. And then the last item we have is this factory sealed um, RCA 8 gigabyte MP3 player. And this one I picked up at a regular Goodwill like last week. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was only like, it's either like five or seven dollars i can't remember but uh this one sold for 34.99 with free shipping and this i mean this weighs nothing it's gonna be first class to ship both of these will be first class to ship um so i'm very very happy with that um you know 
can't really beat it. There weren't any more of this exact model posted, but there were other 8 gig RCA ones that had sold. So I kind of based my price off of that. I did not go at the cheapest. I think the cheapest ones were like in the $20 range. But like I said, this one was a little bit different. So I priced it up and it sold really, really quickly. So on the screen at the bottom here, you should see from eBay, um, a link to, or a, a screenshot of like the totals for the week and everything. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to tune in next time for the next episode. We're going to keep doing these every week until I don't ever sell anything again. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.